Trigger Trigger, the game of raging arm displays. The magnetic field of roses and apples we deliver at Comfort Zone. It starts off as amazement, a story filled with decoy poi tossed, and a moving line of difficulty for the RPG fans and players. I like a good challenge. Is possibly the best NES RPG out there, or is this a lifetime of shooting your asshole to bits? Well, Shonen Trigger starts off as a boy, a nerdy glasses freak, otherwise she's very useful and has a caring heart. And finally, the Princess of Gold measures these three go out and find some historical changing device, enter it, and then they respectfully blog glaze their own hidden paths. How the dinosaurs stop down a bone and pillar of structures, a ghostly very scary fucking place, and a kingdom of zeal, meaning we love magical places. It has a deeply twisted mind, whirling when you get later in the game, and becomes satisfying, and I mean you cannot stop playing it, it's that pretty good for a SNES RPG. Well done, Square, or might as well say, you suck, Claire. The game has pretty unique boss battles. Some will toss your toes and let me fire. Others will be like, damn, that was too impossible to beat. I mean, yes. The game is created by the Dragon Ball Z team too, so if you're a fan of the anime explosion, center activity this game is in your library. It's something to be outset as to be missed or forgotten. The story is directed to go back in time and save the day. The clock is ticking. Do you have what it takes to be blue mooning balls or be the demonic slave? Your choice, your own recommendation. This game has beautiful landscapes, dungeons, everything is crawling from imagination. The music is just a solid ah, ah, 10 slash 10. This is too good to be true. Yep, I would give this a higher rating than a proper 10, but hey, it's 10 slash 10 right away. Pick it up, RPG fans. You won't be disappointed. Now rock shake my balls, Magus! Magus, Magus, Dick Flake. <laughs>